Ah, the good old US of A. Dubbed as the land of the free, but maybe it's a little too free when it comes to some of the ingredients that are allowed in our processed foods, especially ingredients that are banned in other countries. Whoa, which ingredients are banned in other countries? I'm about to tell you, but first, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to continue learning more about how food is affecting your health. Okay, let's talk about these additives. Hey, I'm Austin, and it seems like America must have missed the memo on the bevy of additives that are harmful to consumers. While countries across the globe have been diligent in banning or writing warnings for risky ingredients, the U.S. still permits some potentially damaging components in products that you may consume on a regular basis. You see, the Food and Drug Administration, or the FDA, is a little more laid back in their approach to regulating additives. Consequently, a host of ingredients that other nations have turned away are still firmly present within our manufactured food. All the more reason to steer clear of those processed and ultra-processed products. But if countries in Europe and Asia can see the need to shield the average citizen from certain additives, where is the United States going wrong? While the FDA definitely strives for food safety, it's ultimately more concerned with screening for acute toxicity, looking for more severe levels of danger. This helps them prevent immediate illness and death from foods that contain things like E. coli or salmonella. But this leaves open a window for ingredients that may cause long-term damage through chronic toxicity. This means that undesirable additives are deemed grass or generally recognized as safe and are being put into foods that line the shelves of our grocery stores. Some of the substances on the grass list or others that have been approved by the FDA may be nothing to worry about, but there are a few others that science says we would do best to avoid. To start, potassium bromate and azodicarbonamide, or ADA. These are ingredients added to flour mixtures in breads, crackers, and other baked goods. Canada, the UK, and the European Union have decided to forego these dough conditioners due to their joint status as a possible carcinogen, which means, you guessed it, a linking contributor to cancer. Second is brominated vegetable oil, which is an emulsifier that prevents ingredients from separating while food products are being manufactured. Though it may be helpful in this process, it contains bromine, which can irritate skin and mucous membranes causing neurologic symptoms like headaches and eventual memory loss. Thankfully, BVO has been gradually phased out of most popular sodas and soft drinks, but many smaller brands still contain it. Next, titanium dioxide. This is in a range of foods from salad dressing to chewing gum. You might recognize it as a simple artificial white color, but all those bright white foods come at a cost, and this additive is linked to genotoxicity. This means that chronic consumption of titanium dioxide has the ability to damage DNA within the cell, causing mutations that could lead to cancer. Finally, yellow number five, number six, and red number 40. These are food dyes that bring a colorful luster to some of your favorite snacks and sugary sweets. But when you think you're tasting the rainbow, you're actually sinking your teeth into synthetic chemicals linked to hyperactivity, inattentiveness, and restlessness. So with all these additives lurking on our grocery store shelves, what is a health conscious consumer to do? Well, to start, you can learn more about these additives at the link in the description of this video. Knowledge is power, but perhaps even more powerful than reading the blog post is making sure that you read, read, read the labels on your food items. It's much easier to dodge these dubious food additives if you know which products they're in. For the best outcome, try to avoid processed food altogether. It's a tall task in the world that we live in today, but your body will definitely thank you for it. See you in the next video.